Hey everybody, Russ Matter here. Welcome to my reaction and discussion for episode 12 of Spy Family Season 2. So with this episode done, I will be all caught up as of March 2024. I haven't seen when the next part of Spy Family is coming out. I'm not sure if they're dividing up Season 2 into two parts or if the next season is going to be like a completely new season. But either way, this is what has been released so far. And of course, when it does come back, I will be reacting to it and it will be fun because it'll be new for everybody. But I'm very excited to finish up Spy Family and then we can move on to something else while I wait for uh, more Spy Family to come out. And I don't know what they're going to do with this final episode. I don't know if it's going to be like something that's a little bit more serious. It didn't seem like it from what little I saw of the preview for next time. It looked like a bunch of minor characters are going to be getting some screen time. Um, I'm most excited. It looks like there's going to be some more Bond. He's been sorely underused since he has come into the family, in my opinion anyway. So I'm always down for more Bond. So with that out of the way, I'm really excited to see what this episode of Spy Family has in store for me. And then I can talk to you guys about uh, the next anime react that I'm going to be doing with some information for you guys. I'll also have it uh, down in the description. If you want to check that out, I'll have that comment pinned. Anyway, let's go ahead. Let's watch episode 12 and see what happens. And I'll give you guys my thoughts afterwards. All right, now we're getting yet another recap of what has happened so far, but makes sense given, you know, this is the final episode for a while. Yeah, we haven't seen him in a long time. There was that brief encounter that Lloyd had with him, and that was it. It's been silent since. Actually, with the whole uh, cruise ship arc, like there's been very little of Damien as well. Like we have, that's the whole point of like this main overseeing mission is this whole thing about you know getting in touch with Damien's father. And there's been barely any progress on that, but I guess that is to be expected with a um, a mission of this importance is it's going to take a long time. Bond! And that has barely been used. It's been used maybe three times since he's uh, he's joined the family. Part of the family. Bonds! Yes! Okay, this is going to be a Bond-focused episode. Yay! <laughs> Aw, he's so cute. Anya's not going. Aw. Shock! I love how she's a he's adopted her mannerisms. <laughs> That's me trying to do origami. Oh, man. I have a bunch of people at work. They all got into origami for a while, and I tried so hard... I just couldn't get the hang of it. I don't have that dexterity. Oh, so he's gonna do some training with Bond. Oh, I was kind of hoping that there'd be, like, Bond and Lloyd and Anya together. The nice, nice if Yor could have joined. Okay, so this is gonna be... I mean, the last time the two of them had, like, that time together, they managed to sneak into that, like, research facility and Bond managed to help Lloyd out. That was awesome. So hopefully we'll get more of that for this episode. Yeah, Frankie, that's right. We, there's the Frankie uh, hint of. In the la Poor Frankie. He's such a butt monkey. Nice. I love he's... I mean, Bond definitely proved himself last time. <laughs> Bond has no loyalty. <laughs> I mean, he tried. I love that. I was like, right, no other choice. <laughs> because you always agree to it, Frankie. He's like, I must protect my family.
No. I mean, he's he looks like an old dog. Right? Let's get into more about this. Like, yeah, exactly. Just like with Anya, it's a very vague. We've seen hints of it and like flashbacks, but haven't seen much information about this. Poor, don't get into the sad Bond stuff again. Oh, Bond. It just makes me think of all the other dogs that didn't have such a lucky, uh, you know, second chance at life. Right, yeah. And when he tries to pretend like he's having fun, it's not very convincing. Right? It's like, instead of treating Bond like an, like an object for training, treat him like a dog. Right? Part of the family, that's what this episode is, is about, is maybe Lloyd learning like, hey, let's treat this dog like just a dog. <laughs> and you're just ever... <laughs> She's just so, uh, what's the word I'm thinking of? Supportive. Oh yeah, the Stellas. There, haven't, there hasn't been much uh, progress with the Stellas. <laughs> oh. All right, here we go. Oh, uh, <laughs> he's gonna want to eat that ice cream, but he's like, "No, I must be good dog." Oh, he's gonna he's gonna prevent it from happening. He's gonna save the kid's ice cream, and then his lawyer gonna be like, "Don't attack that child." He's gonna think he's going for the ice cream. I am flexing with his double scoop. It's karma. <laughs> Just a rich kid flexing. Oh no, that's not gonna be what happens. Lloyd's yeah, Lloyd's just gonna think he's attacking him for the ice cream. And Bond's gonna keep trying to be a good dog and he's gonna keep being punished for it. Yeah, I can see how people could interpret that. Oh, he's the one who caused that to happen, Bond. Oh. <laughs> oh. I mean, he got more ice cream as a result. But now Bond's in trouble. Oh, he's just tried so hard. <laughs> Oh no, this whole episode is just going to be Bond trying to help people and just making things worse. He's like, oh great, now you're attacking old people as well. Oh no. Okay, well, that time it worked. That time it worked. Oh, Bond's gonna get punished for this. Hopefully Bond will do something and then Lloyd will realize that he's... He's like, poor Bond, and it's like, Anya, he can't communicate that. He's just trying to help. Oh, now he has to... Oh, now he has to just, like, I can't do anything. Oh, that's something he can't ignore. Oh, okay, this is where he's going to have his redemption, right? Yeah, that he's like, uh, uh, I have to do something about that.
Oh. Oh. That's they trust a dog's instincts. If they're acting out of sorts from what they usually are, there's probably a reason for it. In most cases, it's not going to be because your dog has, you know, precognition about events about to happen, but just in general. Oh, is Lloyd going to help too? Because of course Lloyd's going to help, right? The two of them are going to work together again. Or is maybe Bond going to have this moment all to himself? Oh, man, this is awesome. I love these two together. Oh, it's a puppy! Oh, I thought it was going to be a little girl. That's probably what most people would have thought. Oh. I mean, the reaction that that woman had, right? It just, like, it made you think it was a kid. But that would be my reaction if my dog was in the building, too. It'd be very hard for me not to want to run in and go get her. Oh, he knows that's... I wonder if Floyd's going to have any... He's Maybe he's just going to assume, like, oh, dogs sometimes have, like, a sixth sense for this kind of stuff. They're just very perceptive. I don't think he would ever think, like, oh, yeah, my dog can tell the future. Oh, Bond. <laughs> She's so little, aw. I love this. I want I want an episode though where maybe like Yor and Bond work together. Because we've had one with Anya and and Bond. We've had Lloyd and look, that's badass. Like Lloyd and Bond a couple of times. But like, what about Yor Yor and Bond working together? Oh, my heart. I'm so happy. <gasps> Bond! <laughs> I'm so happy that Bond had... This is exactly what I wanted. Like, we needed more Bond type. Oh, buddy. That's how my dog looks like when she's in the bath. Just absolutely pathetic. <laughs> oh, have they not given a... Oh, my God. <laughs> Okay, I was like, have you not watched Bond once since you got him? Oh my god, Lloyd is laughing. This is amazing. Please, <laughs> come on, laugh. <laughs> he almost cracked, almost. Oh, they're going to catch the bad guy, too. Nice. But yeah, I'm glad that he's finally having some screen time and able to do, like, very uh, heroic things. Jesus. And this guy has no idea that that was a dog. For all he knew, that could be, like, a little girl, and he's laughing about it. What an asshole. Yes, Bond. The training. The training is coming. Well, so much for Bond being too nice to uh, attack people, but we knew this already. Yes.
dude deserves like a steak for that. Bond. Oh my god, I know it's a very sweet moment, but I can't take him seriously. <laughs> that's right that's the preview i saw last week oh get him get that good boy some some steak or something for that come on lloyd oh 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 Come on, Lloyd. I know you want to say it's because of Anya, but you would be sad, too. Aww. Yeah, all right. That's right. Nice. Oh, <laughs> Loy, come on now. Oh, come on. Ray, whatever, Lloyd. Whatever you say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that was awesome. Oh, that was like, okay, it's probably not the whole episode, right? We probably got another little thing after that. There's no way. Yeah, it was only like 16, 17 minutes. So that was so cute. That was even better than I thought it would be. We almost had Lloyd laugh. Almost. <laughs> that alone makes it a great episode. Just so, like, so sweet about Bond, like, trying his best to be a good boy and help people. And then he was a good boy and he did help people. And Lloyd... Showing once again that he can be a softy, even if he likes to pretend that he's not. The one negative thing is not enough, Anya and Yor, but maybe we'll have a little bit of that at the very end. But that's okay, because I meant that Bond got more time in the spotlight, which is what I wanted. So this was pretty much a Bond episode. So what a great way to end this part of the season. It's almost like the uh, the show itself realized, like, oh, he's been uh, kind of in the back a lot. Like, let's give him, let's give him an episode where he can be a badass. <laughs> okay, good. It's more of them. Awesome. Oh, yours like me. She can't do origami either. <laughs> I can't do that, though. Oh. <laughs> No. Oh. <laughs> what did you do to my dog? All right, let's have all of them give him a bath together. Or better yet, take him to, like, a, a grooming place and give him, like, a full makeover. Aww. Aww. 
What's she gonna say? Oh, oh, he got the Stella and so did he. Oh, that's adorable. <laughs> She's like, for unknown reasons, I can't tell you why, but I know. He's like, try and get real Stellas. <laughs> And yours like, I'm going along with this. <laughs> exactly. That's what I say. Like, <laughs> gong. All right, now we're gonna get a little bit of like a not a recap, but it's like a slideshow of like what are, what's everybody else up to because they've been kind of in the back room too. Aw. Oh, how about Bond and her dog have a play date? I can't remember what her puppy's called. That would be cute. Maybe Lloyd would even or not Lloyd, sorry, Bond would like maybe have a crush on her puppy. Oh, Yuri. <laughs> Is that blood? Good luck with your work, Yor. What about Fiona? What's she up to? And Frankie. All right, there we go. Oh, yeah, the recap. It was like I saw her. Oh, a heart. And I was like, oh, we're going to get some Fiona. Oh, not really. <laughs> oh, so cute. <laughs> Bond with his little star. All right. So this is all the stuff that has already happened. So we're not getting a recap of what's coming. This is see you next mission. All right. Okay. It would have been nice if we had had like a, a preview of like what's to come, but I understand. But what can I say? It was a Bond episode. I'm very happy with that. I think that is a great way to end this either uh, season two or part of season two. Like I said, I don't know if it's breaking it up into two parts um, because it was only 12 episodes for this season, which seems kind of short because I believe the last one was 25. Um, so they, they're they probably just dividing up season two into... Um, two parts but whichever way they do it of course i'm excited for more i know that spy family is not done yet usually i give my recap once i'm finished because usually when i do watch anime they're ones that are complete um uh, but i can't do that right now but what can i say of what i've seen so far except i absolutely love it i think spy family is a perfect blend of comedy action not really romance uh it doesn't it's not really a romance but there's you can see the little hints of it and i really appreciate the fact that there probably will be a romance actually blooming between lloyd and your but it's taking a long time they're they're stretching it out they're marinating it they're not rushing it which i appreciate i hate when shows do that when they have like characters that you want to see get together but they do it too quick because i feel like the dynamic changes once they actually get together and it's usually not for the better so it's that build up that we love to see and especially with characters like your and especially lloyd they're gonna need a long time to get to know each other to uh, have affection for each other because uh, i can't remember what the saying is but it's something like uh you know the more time you spend with someone like usually uh that's breeds affection uh so you can't rush something like this 
But yeah, just like the comedy, the action is fantastic. The comedy is great, uh, but they tackle more serious things because this is a country at war. You're dealing with an assassin and a spy, and you're also dealing with uh, a little girl who did not live in good circumstances and also a dog with the same thing who was abused. Like, they don't have fantastic backstories. They all came from a place of tragedy and and loss at a young age. Um, you know, with like Yor and Lloyd, like Lloyd losing his mother and Yor losing her parents and having to take care of her brother and Anya growing up in an orphanage. And then before that, like some sort of research facility, I would love to see more of like Anya's backstory. I think that's one thing where I really hope we're going to get more of that in future episodes and future seasons, because uh, it's been just kind of like touched on here and there, but not really gone into too much depth. Which kind of makes sense because like Anya probably doesn't remember too much about it or she has suppressed it. She doesn't want to talk about it. She can't talk about it because uh, she can't tell people um, the truth about her. I love that all the characters in, in the family also have like these secrets they can't tell each other. And it's just the whole thing about the trying to hide stuff from each other, the hijinks that come from it. That's why I think like the comedy works so well. Um, and then you got like the emotional beats for sure, not just sad moments, but also like heartfelt moments, especially like with Anya and Lloyd and and uh, Yor, also Yor and Lloyd together uh, opening up to each other. And you can see Lloyd especially, he's opening up more in the growth, like you can see the growth in the characters. Um, Yor, like especially learning to be a mother, Lloyd to be a father as well. But I don't know, I feel like I see a little bit more in Yor that she's trying so hard to be the best mother and wife she can be, and um, <laughs> that kind of going against her assassin background. And also you're kind of fighting with that too, like you definitely saw that with the cruise ship arc where she was really wondering why she's doing what she's doing. Um, she did this for her, her brother, like because she needed to make money, but now she's in a good place, she has an actual job. And she's like, why am I still doing it, especially if I have a family I want to protect? And then Lloyd also, he is a spy because he wants to protect people as well. It's just like, it's just sweet. It's just a sweet show and I love it. And I think it's probably one of my favorite shows that I've watched for the channel. Um, and I'm really excited to see where they're going to go from here. And I even just like, and even also the minor characters, they're all great as well. Uh, and I hope to see more of them. And I want to see like, I want to see more of Anya at school and her her thing with Damien, with Damien having a crush on her, um, but he can't say anything because she's just a filthy commoner. She's not good enough for him, but he's just fighting those feelings. And and Anya trying to be his friend. And then, of course, we've got the whole, like, Agent Earth is Strix operation. Like, how much longer is that going to go? Because, like, that's, of course, the main mission. That's the whole reason Lloyd is doing this, and he has this fake family. So just like with the romance with Yor... It's going to take some time, just like with spy missions, I'd assume something like this. It's like you have to it's it's the long play like you got to you got to take a long time with it. You don't want to rush it uh, because once that mission is over, what is there to do after? That's pretty much going to be the end of the show. Um, I'm wondering about that, too. Like, does this show do they know uh, like how it's going to end and how long is it going to take to get there? I'm very excited to see like where it's going to conclude, what's going to happen to Lloyd and Yor and Anya after his mission is over, I'm assuming he's probably just going to be like, oh, I've actually come to love these people and I'm not just going to get rid of them now that the mission is over. That's probably what it, what it is, um, you know, like reaching to at the end. But yeah, that's my overall thoughts of Spy Family. I absolutely love it. I think it's just a great mixture of all sorts of genres smashed together so well, and they balance out the different genres very, very well, in my opinion. So while it's sad that we are going to have to take a break from Spy Family until it comes back, that also opens up uh, a new React series. And this is where you guys come in. This is what I've been hinting at uh, towards the end. As always, I will be posting a poll where you guys can vote for the shows that I have selected of which one you want to watch or you which one you want me to watch, I should say. So I currently have up on my community page as of today, uh, which would be the 18th, if you are watching this on YouTube, 
Uh, I will have a community post about suggestions for which anime you would like to see me react to. Uh, and then I will probably post the actual poll on the 20th. So that's going to be Wednesday. And because I have to watch it for next week, the poll isn't going to be open for very long because uh, I'm going to have to actually watch the episode and edit it and have it out for the week after. So the poll will open up on the 20th and it's going to close on the Friday, which would be the 22nd. So you guys will have until the 22nd to vote on the poll. The poll is going to be posted on the Wednesday, if that makes sense. Uh, so check out my community page, uh, give me suggestions, and then uh, vote on which show you would like me to watch. And uh, I hope you will like whichever show it is that I will be watching. And I'm excited to see uh, what the winner is going to be for that. So keep an eye out for that. That uh, new React series will be coming out next week. But I want to thank you guys so much if you have watched through to the uh, to this point, the, all of the my Spy Family React. I hope you did enjoy it, and I hope you're looking forward to when it comes back. I'm certainly excited to see more of Spy Family. Uh, so that will do it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, vote in that poll coming up, and I will see you next week for my next React series. Until then. Special shoutouts to my top tier patrons Emily Hornsby, Salieri, Zorn Ether, Amdere, Revealing Storm, Icognito, Asborn Kennedy, Harry Gazip, Jared Fan, and Saturn Sins.